Right, fam. All right, all right. Today's video, we're just going to be going through my bookshelves, having a look at what we've got up here. As you can see, it's quite full. This is not the only shelf in the house, but it's going to be. Uh, yeah, we'll start here. We'll start here. Across the top, we have some Japanese textbooks. This top two, uh, they were a gift from a friend who used them in uni, uni and um, yeah, she was finished with them and said that I could have them. Next, Japanese for busy people, that's from my mum. She tried learning Japanese a while ago and then she just gave up and I kind of just uh, adopted this book, we'll call it. These are from her, another friend who was uh, using them in school but then had no need for them later. Um, yeah, we've got Rocky. All these in the back, these are um, when my neighbor moved away and he was downsizing he gave me all these books these are all in German and uh, apparently they're quite rare editions but as you can see I'm missing some because you've got the um, numbers down the bottom you've got 1, 17, 18 so they're not all there and that's a bit of a shame uh, a couple more German books and then Ulysses a really old edition of Ulysses next row down we have Decimal clock. That's the time I'm working on. I oh, also have a bit of um, OM script up the top, but we'll get back to that later. Anyway, behind here we have a whole lot of language material. We've got <clears throat> Russian, some more Chinese. This is an interesting one. This is like a little fables, kind of like Aesop's fables, a bunch of uh, old folk tales. It's quite good, quite interesting. It's difficult to read, but yeah, you know, it's in there. That's just a grammar book in there. These are fun. These are just ridiculous stories, but they're good fun. This one is about some guy who is uh, framed for hacking into a bank, and then the housemaid uh, discovers that it was all a trick, and then, ah, oh, it's just a ridiculous story. Anyway, moving on, we've got these ones I got from my time studying in China. They're, these are actually excellent textbooks. They come with a CD each. Forgive me for talking fast, but we have a lot to get through. This is a gift from a friend who is an Indonesian teacher and knows that I enjoy language. Um, I regret that I haven't gotten around to studying this language yet. But I've got a couple more books just lined up for when it's time. I'll know when the time is right. Anyway, I've got some more Russian. My neighbor who was moving, the one with the German books, not Rocky, the one who gave the books out, gave me also a couple of... Oh, of very interesting things. This is a uh, like a, a physics book, but it's all written in Russian. I don't know when I'll ever need it, but I, I like to collect it. And likewise, this is like an old school phot photography manual. Um, so for a technology that doesn't exist in a language that I don't read, I find it interesting to keep. Anyway, a couple of travel books here. Uh, this is another one from my mum, who at a, a bit, certain period in her life was working with a lot of Arabic speakers, and I went down that road, but then she's... Uh, again, I've adopted this book. Adopted. Yeah. A couple of novels in Spanish. Uh, this one, yeah, my dad he got, got this for me, his heart's in the right place. But he didn't realize that it was actually a translation original is in portuguese anyway interesting book uh yeah quite entertaining yeah spanish 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 parallel texts and shorter toys in french that one helped me learn a bit teach yourself gaelic yes looking forward to going through that haven't spent a good amount of time with it yet but i will i will uh this is on yep the the kite runner in portuguese yeah i I found the movie more entertaining than the book, to be honest. But there you go. Anyway, this is a this is a fun one. This is a bilingual book. Reads front to back in two different languages. You've got uh, some English going that way, and then Russian at the start, going up to halfway. Of course. Oh, that's a good one. It, yeah, the book and the movie equally good. Spanish phrase book. I don't know where I collect these things. Uh, yeah, that's just some textbooks from my time at uni. Teach yourself Esperanto. A bit esoteric. Not many people would have this book, I imagine. Lord of the Rings. Good stuff. An elephant. A totem pole. Oh, excuse me. And here's a couple of 
satirical things. You got the Da Vinci Cod, the Chronicles of Blarnia, the Sodit, and then some neuroscience. This is good stuff. Blues harmonica for dummies. Uh, basic writing. Yeah, I think that all four of these ones were Bridget's books, uh, as are the elephants. So I'll put this decimal clock back up here and then <clears throat> next shelf down. You're up on a shoestring. That is Bridget's, I'm, I'm almost certain. And says the Book of Joy, Wanderlust. Yeah, these are her things here. Yeah. Some good, good uh, inspirational books here. Book of Wisdom. Psychology. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we get to some crime thrillers. You'll see a lot more of those coming up. The Tarot Bible. I have no idea. Uh, therapy parts beyond eager. Or even movie madness. Some friends gave this to me at one point. It's basically a compilation, a collection, a, a description of every movie that contains marijuana. Don't know what they were trying to say with that one. The band that time forgot. That's a Guns N' Roses biography. Disgusting facts, always entertaining. Meditations, yeah, this is this is good stuff here. Marcus Aurelius, Stoicism, some more music stuff. Uh, yeah, this is a good one actually. Political and linguistic book. Yeah, I like it. If you're into post-structuralism, which I can't imagine many of you actually are, then give this one a go. History of Australian Audiology. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a big range of material on this shelf right here. Freakonomics, pretty popular book actually, it's very good. And the next two are kind of like uh, fun facts and things. Yeah, they're good. When Reason Screams No, that's a, like a self-help book. Bob's your uncle. This one is really fun. It's just about whole weird phrases that you find in English. Oh no, I've messed up my shelf. These are stuck on, can't get them off. It wasn't, it was a second-hand shelf. Yeah, Spanish, Spanish, Spanish books. And this is like, I don't even know why I have this. This is like history of the internet. Just a bunch of memes in a book. Really strange thing to have. Uh, yep. Possibly favorite author. Maybe second favorite, actually. A couple more things here. Uh, normal people. The book is better than the TV show. Much, much better. Color of Magic. That's fun. This is again, this is another one. This is just pictures of penguin memes. Jamaica, yeah, just a random novel. Light music, another random novel. The Psychopath Test. Ah, uh, yeah, interesting. It's uh, yeah. written by a journalist who is looking up psychopaths and how they can tell who's a psychopath and who's not. So, next shelf down, let's have a look. I'm getting to some cool stuff here. We got Thai, more Japanese for some reason. Short stories in Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. Teach yourself Dutch. This is this is an old edition, so the, the examples in here are really, really outdated. Things like, oh, oh tell Mrs. Uh, de Jong that the newspaper is on time. Hmm. Anyway, Dutch in three months, a lot more useful. Danish dictionary, ah, you've got to have a dictionary at some point. That's just a novel, it's interesting enough. This one, really good textbook, I used it for Spanish in uni. Uh, M is for metal. Oh, that's just a fun one. Monty Python. Adventure of English. If you have enough time, if you're interested in English, history of the language, this is the one for you. Caesar. History book. America Hispanica. Very, very dense book. It's uh, it's written in Spanish. It's just a history of uh, the Spanish occupation of the Americas. Guitar Zero. Ooh. Yeah, that's good if anyone's trying to learn a new skill and has any doubts about their ability to learn. It's a good one. Pagans and the Christians. Now, I had a uh, oh, long story, but it's quite an interesting book. It's about the early Christianity, and if anyone is interested in that kind of history, uh, it's not a religious book. It is a history book about religion, and it is really, really thorough. Very interesting. But it, it's thorough, but it's readable. Now here's a cool one, I picked this up at a market, it's a really, <laughs> oh, bad example, uh, it's a great book, that has, it's just very well designed, I think, it's quite pretty to look at, all in French, not a problem for me, but it is a problem for Bridget, but she can look at the design, that's a, no, she's a very visual, visual person. Psychic Children, this is this was given to me as a kind of a joke gift to Sylvia Brown. She writes all this ooh, 
uh, psychic style books. It's quite, she's fun. Anyway, <laughs> this one's all about children who, before they were born, uh, come from some psychic realm and, you know, they might be, uh, children might have more of a psychic connection back to that um, other world. Anyway, uh, this is for the guinea pig. That's like a hard chewy treat. And Metallica, Science of Superheroes. This is very good. This is very good if anyone's interested in how superheroes might might not work. Um, spoilers, Aquaman is the most likely superhero of all. So here's some more books about international relations. Inconvenient Genocide. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Open Up and Bleed by Iggy Pop. Ben Shapiro. This one was a gift. And... Honestly, this book is just very poorly written and poorly edited. He tries to make a point, but contradicts himself a hundred thousand times. It's hard to take anything in it seriously. Damascus, like historical fiction, is pretty good. Stephen Fry biography, Rough Guide to Heavy Metal. Actually, that's this is a good one. This is a very good one. Uh, language Myths is a good book too, because if anyone's interested in learning language and they they think, oh, children learn better than adults. You can't learn a language when you're an adult. Nope, nope, completely wrong. There's a lot of evidence against that. So this book goes through all those sorts of myths and tells you exactly why they're wrong. And if you don't like being, uh, if you don't like being wrong, then maybe don't read it. But if you do want to learn a language, then I think you should. Democracy Kills is fun if you're into um, if you're into uh, political science. Then that's an interesting one. Greatest book of useless information. If there's one book on this shelf that summarizes who I am as a person, this is the one. The world's greatest book of useless information. And that is me. The island at the center of the world. Uh, it's about New York. It's about the founding of New York. And uh, it's a quite interesting. Spoken here. This is excellent. Again, I got this at the same market as I got that French book with the, uh, the cool design. This is, uh, yeah, for anyone interested in linguistics, definitely read this. It's not, it's not a textbook by any means. It's written by a journalist again, but yeah, excellent, excellent stuff. I've got two shelves left on this bookshelf, and then we'll go, and I'll cut the video and go into uh, another, another shelf later. A complete reference to web design from the 90s. Um, I'm sure that, like, the, uh, the back the backbone of HTML remains the same, but really, I don't know why I have this. There's a couple of histor uh, history books by Charles Dickens. Lost in translation. This one was a gift, but this is really quite a nice book, and it's a illustrated compendium of untranslatable words. Uh, words. Um, so, for example. Not being ready to spend time or money on a specific thing, despite being able to afford it. There's a word for that. Um, Gatsby, ah, a bit overrated. Here's a cool one. Yeah, this is useful for uh, people learning German. All sort of basic stuff. And then we have a bit more Arabic dictionaries. You have a, the fat Spanish dictionary. Sapiens, like, oh, I don't know, everyone reads this one. Yeah, I found it entertaining. Something, a little thing in here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did this when I was in Dijon. Walking around, looking at the city, that was quite good. Got a play, what is, what is this? Oh, Nepali. Must be Bridget, said I had no idea this was here. Uh, Spanish, more Nepal. Oh, she did go there on holiday. The Idiot. I remember liking it but the first time, but then I tried to reread it and didn't like it. Uh, it happens sometimes, anyway. Uh, there's a dustpan and brush, which sometimes you need. I'll just get that out of the way. Yes, yes, a few interesting things. Big magic. Ah, oh, look, I read it and I just did not enjoy it. Didn't enjoy it at all. Uh, bu -bu -bum -bum. The ethics of what we eat, this is fantastic. It's quite a bit out of date now, and I wonder how much is still true, but it was excellent. Blade Runner, of course, goblins. Say no more. Uh, the Art of Meditation, Changing Gears is a very good one. Yeah, this is about this guy who, who goes on a massive cycling trip with his wife from Melbourne up to Cairns. And, um, yeah, it's very, yeah, very good book. I Am Pilgrim. Yeah, it's entertaining, um, crime fiction. 
A lot of other things down there. A couple of spears for some reason. Got some hay here. And pellets. Now down here it's all just sort of textbooks and things. I'll start on the left. But yeah, some old psychology books here. I won't go into too much detail there. Um, developmental psychology. And then we got like this uh, art books. Clinical audiology, neuroscience, yeah, you can tell. Yeah, we've got a broad range of tastes. Oh, what is all of this nonsense? Uh, excuse me. Make your own electric guitar. Oh, getting into some difficult stuff down here, I can't even see. Uh, thesaurus of scales and melodic patterns, that one, I don't remember. This is a bit, a bit tricky for me to get into right now. I have to pull them off the shelf later for you. Uh, down here we have. Yeah, Dream Theater. Yeah, I remember I was learning to play this whole album on the guitar at one point. Uh, we've got a few more um, books down here. Yeah, anyway, this is all just uni textbooks and stuff. So this has been part one of um, what's on my shelf. And I'll just finish this one off quickly by saying uh, at the top of the shelf I've got a photo from when I was uh, in cooking school in Japan. Not school, but I took one class. One class to learn how to make noodles. Uh, it's a horse, for some reason. There's a jar with some dried leaves in it. And Bridget painted this one. So anyway, that's been part one. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.